Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. In today's video, we'll cover part four, the final part of Louisiana Highway 46, beginning in the community of Verretteville at the flood wall that protects St. Bernard Parish from coastal flooding during tropical weather events. During such events, the floodgates are closed and sandbagged, keeping floodwaters out, but also keeping anyone outside of the flood wall in who has not heeded the call to evacuate. Since we're now outside of the flood protection system, this area can have up to 12 feet of water pushed in by storm surge when a major hurricane is approaching the Gulf Coast. As a result, most homes and buildings outside of the flood walls are built high up on pilings to protect the contents from the rising water. We enter the fishing community of Reggio, established in 1783 with the settlement of Canary Islanders along Bayou Terrebuff. During the last decade of the 18th century, Louis de Reggio purchased land from the Islenos to establish a sugarcane plantation. After the American Civil War, the community greatly expanded as Islenos moved deeper into the eastern portion of the parish to engage in fishing, trapping, hunting, and Spanish moss gathering. Following the complete destruction of Hurricane Katrina, only a handful of the original families returned to rebuild. At this junction, LA-46 turns left onto Florissant Highway, while LA-300 is to the right and continues ahead on the Delacroix Highway. This community is called Florissant, as the highway is named, and the highway and properties on the right and left are protected by an earthen levee, to some degree. It wasn't enough when Hurricane Katrina came along in 2005, completely flooding this entire area and leaving very little behind. The remnants of a True Value hardware store and gas station are visible on the right-hand side. The sign and gas pumps undamaged, but little else remains. Everything else you see down here is post-Katrina construction. Some of the homes have blue tarps covering their roofs as a result of damage from Hurricane Zeta in October of 2020. Bayou Lelutra runs along this highway off to the left side. The bayou gets closer after we get out of the populated area.
just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up or hit the applause button if you enjoy our videos. We're approaching four small named communities in a very small area. Across the bayou to the left, off of LA 625, is a gated community called Fort Beauregard. Ahead we enter Wyklosky, and the immediate area is marked as Alluvial City on some maps. The fourth is Shell Beach, where we'll be at at the very end of this video. Because these aren't towns or any kind of incorporated municipality, it's difficult to tell where one officially ends and the next begins, so we're just relying on the blue and white signs on the side of the road. We cross Bayou La Lutra on this vertical lift bridge built in 1957, and LA-46 turns to the left, with LA-624 continuing down the bayou to our right. The name of the road becomes Wyklosky Highway. We enter the community of Shell Beach as the road curves to the right. We're now following Bayou Wyklosky. Shell Beach is considered to be one of the top places to catch speckled trout and blue crabs. At one time, the community extended all the way to the shores of Lake Bourne, but it was cut short by the construction of the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet beginning in the 1950s. Shell Beach was promoted as a sunbathing resort in the early 20th century. Nearby on Lake Bourne is Fort Proctor, a ruined 19th century fort also known as Fort Beauregard or Beauregard's Castle. The fort was intended to be part of the fortifications protecting water routes towards New Orleans. 
The construction of the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet cut off land access to the fort and it has been inundated by water due to coastal erosion. We conclude our drive in the LA-46 series here at what seems to be the end of the world, but we'll be covering two more highways in the vicinity that will give you the same feeling. Off in the distance, you can see the ruins of Fort Proctor. A historical marker is present for the Battle of Lake Bourne, which occurred near the end of the War of 1812. The British won that one. On August 29, 2006, a Hurricane Katrina memorial was unveiled including a 13-foot high stainless steel cross and a stone monument inscribed with the names of the 164 St. Bernard Parish residents who perished as a result of Hurricane Katrina. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.